So yes, as I was saying, we will start tonight in butterfly pose. So you have two options here. Um, you can bring your feet, soles of your feet together and let your knees roll out. And you can either remain sat up, but try and keep a long back. Or you can do the reclined version. So coming down onto your mat um, with legs in butterfly. It's entirely up to you. Whichever you choose, have one hand on your tummy and one hand on your heart. And just relax into the pose. So allow the legs to completely relax. Try and release any tension in the muscles. Allow the breath to come and go as it pleases. Allow the shoulders to relax, maybe tucking the shoulders underneath the body. Allow the neck to be long. And if you feel comfortable, then close your eyes. Tonight's class will be doing quite a lot of movement, getting the spine moving in all its six directions. But to start with, we'll just take our awareness to our breath. Just noticing the breath as it comes into the body and the ribs, the belly, the chest expand. And notice as the breath leaves the body and everything softens towards the floor. Inhaling as the body expands and exhaling as things soften. So just have a mindful little check-in with your body this evening. Notice any areas of stress or tension. Notice anywhere where maybe the muscles are gripping. Notice how you're feeling this evening. And then take that awareness back to the breath. This time deepening the breath. So inhaling for a count of four, which can be as fast or as quick as you please. And then exhaling for a count of six. With each inhale, really filling the body up with new oxygen. And as you exhale, release off any stresses or tensions of the day. Inhaling, really filling the body with new oxygen. And exhaling, completely relaxing and releasing onto your mat. Do three more breaths like this. In for four counts. And out for six counts. Maybe adding a little pause in between the inhale and exhale. And another little pause between the exhale and the inhale. Gently flutter the eyes open. Allow the breath to come back to normal. And we'll start by squeezing those knees together and placing the feet on the mat. If you're sat up in butterfly, then roll the spine back down to the mat. Just starting some gentle movement. We'll curl up the tailbone, gently lifting the spine, bone by bone by bone, up off the mat. At the top, squeeze the glutes and lift the hips as high as you can. And then very gently curl the spine back down on the mat. Trying to go bone by bone by bone with the tailbone coming down last. So inhale as we go up. Trying to match the movement to the length of your unique inhale. And then exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come up, 
tailbone first. Really squeeze and lift the hips at the top and then exhale back down. Then bring the arms into the movement. So inhale, arms up above the body as we lift the hips and the back off the floor. Squeeze the glutes at the top, lift the hips. Exhale, roll that back, back down the mat. Bring the arms back down to the ground. Inhale as we go up. Lifting those hips, squeezing those glutes, and then exhale as we come down. And then inhale as we come up. And then exhale as we come down. Good. And then either roll over onto your side and come up to seated. Or if you want to do a bit of rocking and a rolling, just getting a gentle massage through that back, then do a bit of rocking and a rolling and come up to seated. Then take whatever is your preferred seated position, whether that is uh, cross legs or with your feet out straight, or if you prefer to sit on your knees. It's entirely up to you. We'll start with doing a few circles through the shoulders, really hunching those shoulders up and then dragging the shoulder blades down the back. Excellent. And then take that in the other direction, bringing those shoulders forwards. Excellent. And then taking the hands in front of you, fingers facing forwards. You might want to come up onto your knees if that's easier. <clears throat> Just do a little circle around the wrists. In really tiny circles and then take those circles in the other direction and just circling through those wrists gently warming up the body and then walking the fingers out to the sides so they're out to the sides just go gently from side to side And then if you can, keep walking those fingers around so the fingers face towards your knees and then gently move backwards and forwards. Excellent. Then staying in tabletop, I'll just move this way so you can see easier. Starting with the first two ways that our spine moves in back bends and forward bends through cat and cow. So as you inhale, let the sit bones come up, really press the ground away with the hands, the shoulders are engaged when they come up. As we exhale, curl the tailbone under, arch through the spine and drop the head. Really pulling the belly in towards the spine. Inhale as you come down. Really finding some length in the spine, moving as far as your anatomy allows. And then really take that spine back up towards the ceiling as we exhale. Curl the tailbone, pull the tummy in, let the head hang heavy. Inhale as we come down. And then exhale as we come up. Then coming back to neutral, we'll then go into lateral stretches. So making a C shape with your spine, looking around towards one hip. Then inhaling back through center and exhaling, making a C shape to the other side. Inhaling back through center, exhale one way. Inhale back through center, exhale the other way. One more each side, inhale to center. Exhale, look around towards the hip. Notice you might be able to see more of your hip one side than the other. <clears throat> Excellent. 
Now just come back into child's pose. Really stretch the fingertips out long. And allow the head to come down towards the mat. We're really elongating the spine here. Really stretching our fingertips as far forward as they will go. Whilst we're simultaneously trying to stretch our sit bones back towards our heels. Maybe squeeze the shoulders behind your back. So that the arms are engaged and the elbows are off the floor. One more breath here. Then come up and we'll move into twists. So first a twist to the right. So bring your right foot to the outside of your hands. Keeping the left hand rounded, inhale the right arm up towards the ceiling. Any pain in the back knee, or if you want to challenge the body further, you can lift the back knee. Really reaching up through the hand. And then once you have a really, really strong line, uh, twisting the other way, Ginny. So left hand on the floor and right hand up. Beautiful. So once you've got a good line of energy, then try and open that shoulder even further back to really bring the twist into the upper back as well. Excellent, and bring the hand back down to the mat. If you have the knee raised, drop the knee, take the right foot back to where it came from, and bring the left foot forwards. So this time, left foot forwards, right hand on the mat, and we turn towards the knee. Lifting that left arm up towards the ceiling. If you want to lift the back knee, feel free to do so. And once you're stable and you have a good line of energy, open that shoulder to really bring the twist into the upper back as well. Excellent. Couple more breaths here. And then bring that hand back down to the mat. So from here, walk the hands slightly further forward raise the back knee if you haven't already and step the back knee forward so we're in forward fold good so every flow tonight will include those six movements that we've already made so forward fold is obviously a lovely forward bend let your upper body relax on your thighs nice bent knees maybe nod the head maybe shake the head completely relaxed and then keeping those knees bent roll up through the spine all the way up to the top bringing the head up last and inhaling the arms above the head exhaling hands through heart center three breaths at the top of our mats inhaling arms up exhale hands down through heart center inhale arms up Exhale, hands down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Take those hands all the way down towards the mat. Inhale into our halfway lift, long back and long neck. And then exhale, fold. Taking the foot back. You can either keep the knee raised or you can drop the knee if you're feeling you need more balanced, right? And then inhale the arms up. You can also stay on your toes or if it's in your body, you can always come into warrior one leg, dropping the back heel. <clears throat> That's not good for my hips, I'm staying in present lunge. So inhaling up, exhale, bring the torso forward, bring the arms forward. Inhale the arms back up, and this time look up and open into a back bend. And then exhale, come forward, bring that arms down by the torso. Inhale, arms up very steadily, gradually go into your back bend. And then exhale, bring the hands forward. Inhale the arms up once more. Really ground down to your legs, be really, really comfortable in your legs. And then reach the right hand higher than the left. And then exhale it back down. Inhale the left hand higher than the right. Exhale it back down. Inhale right. 
exhale lower, inhale left, exhale lower, inhale right, exhale lower, inhale left, exhale lower, good. Inhale, stretch up through the fingers, exhale, bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Keep the left hand on the mat, inhale the right arm up into a twist. Look up to that top thumb. Really try and elongate through the spine, stretching the spine, looking up towards that top finger. And then exhale, bring the hand back down to the mat. Step the front foot back to plank. Either bring the knees, the chest and the chin to the floor or come down through Chaturanga and then into Cobra or Up Dog for another back bend. Really stretching the chest forwards, pulling the core in, engaging the legs. Then come back down to the mat, tuck the toes, push back and up into your downward facing dog. Our first dog of the day. So make sure your fingers are nice and wide. Wrist creases in line with the top of your yoga mat. Bend your knees to start with and take your chest towards your thighs. Really allowing for a long line of energy from your wrists through your elbows, your shoulders, all of the spine up to the sit bones. And then once you have that long line of energy, then play with straightening or attempting to straighten your legs. Couple of breaths here. Having a wiggling and jiggling your dog if you need to, or you want to. Then inhaling that left leg up behind you, bring it forward and place it between the hands. This time dropping the back heel and windmilling, windmilling, wind, bringing the arms up into warrior two. Everybody can see what I meant, I can see. Everyone's in warrior two anyway. <laughs> okay, so nice and strong in the legs. Nice bend in the front knee, really long back leg, really stretching out through the fingers. So a lateral and back bend mixed together next. Flip the front palm and then raise your arm up coming into reverse warrior. And it's stretch down one side and a bit of a back bend. And then exhale, come back to warrior two. This time flip both palms to face me. And keep your legs really strong and steady. Move from the hips into triangle pose. Bringing the fingers down to point towards the floor, but not touching the floor. So we're using our core strength to hold our upper body up. Excellent, really reaching up through those top fingers, reaching down, stretching the bottom fingers towards the floor. Your head can either be looking at your bottom thumb or your top thumb, whichever you feel most comfortable. Really squeeze those inner thighs towards one another. One more breath here. Excellent, and coming back, keeping those legs strong, coming back to warrior two. This time, windmill the hands as you twist on the back foot to bring the hands back to the front of the mat and step the back foot forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, really bending the knees. Then inhale all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Good stuff. Three breaths here before we do the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through the heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with the right leg this time and take your option. You can either stay on the toes, you can drop the back heel, or you can come down to the knee, it's up to you. And then inhale the arms up above the head. 
Make sure the legs are really strong and steady. Pull the inner thighs towards one another. Pull the core in. Inhale up through the fingertips. Exhale, come forwards, bring the torso forwards, bring the arms by the sides. Inhale, arms up. Looking up, coming into a back bend. And then exhale, coming forwards. Inhaling up. And then exhale, coming forwards. One more. Inhale up into a little backward bend. Really keep strong through those legs. And then exhale, come forwards. Excellent. Inhale the arms up above the head. Really ground down through the feet. Lift up the right arm as you inhale. Exhale it back down. Inhale, lift the left. Exhale it back down. Inhale, right. Exhale down. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Inhale, right. Exhale down. Inhale, left. Exhale down. Good. Inhale, really stretch up through the fingertips. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, grounding down through the right hand. This time, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling. Really stretching the spine out long. And as you exhale, see if you can twist a little more. Couple more breaths here. And then float that hand back down to the mat. Take the front foot back to plank. Your choice, either knees, chest, chin, or bring the weight forward and come down through Chaturanga. Pull that core in and then come into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Whichever you do, pull the core in, make it strong. Engage the legs so the knees are protected. And coming back down, tuck the toes, push the hips back towards the heels, and come up into downward facing dog again. Keeping that length through the spine. So there's a straight line or straight-ish line from the wrists all the way to the sit bones. And then have a wiggle and a jiggle in your dog. From here, float the right foot up behind you. And then bring that right foot forward and place it somewhere between the hands. Dropping the back heel down, windmill the arms up into warrior two. Excellent. Really grounding down through the legs. Strong and long back leg, nice bend in the front leg. Flip the front palm and then come back into reverse warrior looking up towards the top hand, keeping those legs strong, keeping that bend in the front knee. Then inhale back up into warrior two. Flip both palms, probably towards me, maybe away from me, depends which way you're standing. And then keeping the legs exactly as they are, move from the hips to come into warrior three. I mean, triangle pose. My oh, words all over the place this evening. So stretching down through the fingertips as much as you're stretching up. The bottom hand is not touching the ground. We're using our core and our strength to keep us in this position. Really think about engaging all the muscles in the legs, engaging all the muscles in the arms. You can either look at your bottom thumb or your top thumb, whatever is more comfortable on your neck. Two more breaths here, really squeezing all of those muscles, pulling that core in once more. And then using that core, come back up to your warrior two, keeping those legs strong, really stretching out through the fingertips. Nice big inhale here. Then on your exhale, windmill your hands around to the front foot, coming onto the toes of the back foot. Step the back foot forwards. Inhale, halfway left. Exhale, fold forward, bending the knees a lot. And then inhale, roll yourself all the way up to the top. Stretch the arms up above your head. Exhale, hands back down to heart center. Good. 
Excellent stuff. If you're getting warm like me, have a moment to shed a jumper. <laughs> Although it's stuck on my watch. <laughs> Never a dull moment in a Tracy yoga class. Getting stuck in my own jumper. Oh. Right. Okay, let's flow. Inhaling the arm all the way up. And then exhale, sit down into our chair. Bringing the hands to heart centre. Keeping our legs really nice and strong. Keeping sat in our chair. We'll twist around one way. It doesn't matter which way because we'll go the other way too. Nice big inhale here. And then as you exhale, really lengthen the spine and see if you can twist some more. If you want to add friction to the twist, you can use your top arm as a fist into the palm of the bottom hand. <laughs> if you feel like you want to twist more into the shoulders, you can open the arms up completely. One hand coming down towards the floor, the other one coming up towards the ceiling. And then really open that top arm up. See how much twist you can get. Good. Then walk the hands towards your toes. Stretch the legs out for a moment. And then really bend the knees and allow the upper body to hang over the legs. Couple of breaths here. Then inhale all the way up to the top. Exhale back down into your chair. Hands to heart center. Then we'll twist to the other side. So start with the elbow on your knee. Nice bend in the legs. Pushing into your twisted chair. If you want to take the fist option, place the upper arm fist into the palm of the bottom hand. And if you want to open up further through the shoulders, peel the arms apart, stretching one arm up towards the sky and the other down towards the floor. Couple more breaths here. Excellent. Then bring those hands down towards the floor. Walk them in front of the feet. And then take your right foot off the floor and wrap it around the back of the left foot so that the lower legs are crossed. And then walk your fingertips round towards the right, getting a really strong stretch down the side body. Or maybe not so strong, it depends on your flexibility. We'll talk a bit more about that on Saturday. and walking the hands back to the center. Take the right foot back to where it came from. Lift the left foot up off the floor and cross it behind the right calf. So again, your feet are crossed, your lower legs are crossed. This time, walk the fingertips round towards the left. Really trying to keep the hips Facing reasonably forwards and feeling that stretch down the side body, maybe down through the side of the thigh into the IT band. And then walk those fingers back around towards the front and untuck the feet. So we're back to a forward fold. Placing the palms down onto the mat, bending the knees as much as you need. Take the left foot back and drop the knee down towards the floor. Untuck the toes and inhale the arms up. Come into a reasonably stacked position, so your shoulders are above your hips. Bring the palms of the hands together, maybe making a Charlie's Angel bum and then tilt the body over towards the right. So we're pointing those fingers over towards the right, getting a stretch down the left side of the body. 
If it feels comfortable to do so, you can dip your hips and stretch a bit further. It's entirely up to you. And if it feels like you need more stability, bring your right elbow to your right knee and just reach for the left hand. So lots of options. If you want to take it up a notch, you can always lift the back leg to further challenge your balance. If you've lifted the back knee, drop it back down. <laughs> Inhale back up to center and then exhale. Float the hand back down to the mat. Take the front foot back. And this time we'll roll ourselves down onto the floor and come into Sphinx. So untucking the toes, elbows below the shoulders. Try and have the legs as relaxed as possible. Really just stretch the chest forward. So feeling length down the front side of the body and feeling space in the spine too. Couple of breaths here. And bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. See if you can push away to get the back bend a little bit stronger. Elbows don't have to be straight. You can go to wherever is comfortable for you. But then again, really stretch the chest forward, trying to feel length down the front of the body. Then take the hips up, come over into child's pose, and just really stretch those fingers forward as we stretch the sit bones back to lengthen out through the spine again. Then coming up through tabletop, tuck the toes, push up into your downward facing dog. Float the left leg up behind you, bend at the knee and open the hips to get a psoas stretch. So really trying to stretch those toes over the back to tickle your right shoulder. And then bringing that back to center, float that foot all the way forwards and drop the back knee, coming up and the hands to half center. This time twisting across the front knee so take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, twist the elbow across the front knee. If you want to challenge your balance as well, lift the back knee, up to you. Couple of breaths here. And untangle your twist. Bring the hands down to frame the front foot. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee and step the back foot forward into forward fold. Inhale into a halfway lift, long back. Exhale, forward fold. And then roll yourself all the way back up to the start, inhaling arms up above the head. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Three breaths before we do the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands back down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands back down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms up. This time, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, long back. Exhale, fold forward. Take the right foot back, drop the knee. Start by inhaling up and we'll do our sideways stretch. So either bring the left elbow to the left knee and reach over with the right hand, or bring the hands together, make a Charlie's Angel bun, and move those fingers over towards the left. If you feel comfortable to do so, you can drop the hips forwards, really ensuring you still have that stretch down the right side of the body, really reaching those fingers over.
then inhaling back up. Float the hands down to the floor and step that foot back, rolling the body down, coming into sphinx. Elbows below the shoulders, toes untucked and legs really relaxed. Maybe have a roll through the hip bones to ensure you're really relaxed. And then imagine pulling your elbows and your hands back slightly as you stretch your chest forwards to feel that length down the front of the body. Trying to keep that length down the back of the body too. Couple more breaths here. And then come down towards the mat, bring the hands underneath the shoulder and then push as much as you can to deepen that back bend. The elbows can stay bent, just push to where you are comfortable and really enjoy that stretch. A couple of breaths here. And then take the hips up and over, coming into our child's pose, really walking those fingers as far forward as you can, taking the hips back towards the heels, dropping the head towards the mat, really elongating the spine. And coming up through tabletop, push the knees away until you're in downward facing dog. Really stretching that chest towards the thighs. Float the right leg up behind you. Bend at the knee. And open the hip. Trying to keep the shoulders level. Really stretch those toes over the back towards the left shoulder to get to the stretch through the deep core psoas muscles. And then levelling off the hips. Bring that foot forward and place it between the hands. Drop the back knee. Inhale the arms up and then exhale them to heart centre. This time hook the left knee, uh, left elbow even, over the front knee. And if you want to challenge your balance too, you can always lift the back knee. With each inhale, try and lengthen the spine. With each exhale, see if you can twist a tiny bit more. Good, one more breath here. Then dropping that back knee back down, if you have it lifted, bring the hands to frame the front foot, lift the back knee and step it forwards. Inhale into a halfway lift, exhale folding forwards. Inhale, roll that spine all the way up to the top of the mat, inhale arms up, exhale hands to heart centre. Inhale arms up, exhale hands down to heart centre. Inhale arms up, exhale hands down to heart centre. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down through heart centre. Coming down onto the floor now. So entirely up to you how you get there. If you want to go through a yogi squat, take your feet as wide as the yoga mat and come down into Malasana. Really good for stretching out the lower back, Malasana. And everyone's will look different depending on your hips, your knees, your ankles. Maybe just have a couple of breaths here. Really pressing the elbows on the inside of the thighs. <clears throat> Trying to lengthen the back by reaching the shoulders up whilst you're curling the tailbone down towards the ground. And then releasing that off, allow the bum to come all the way down, bringing the feet towards the mat. And then rolling all the way back onto the mat to come into happy baby. So a lovely gentle forward bend, taking the feet up towards the ceiling, 
You're bending the knees in towards your armpits. And then reach your hands through the gap and try and hold onto your feet. Whether that's the outside of your feet or the inside of your feet or over your toes, whatever suits you best. And then once you have your grasp, try to roll head and shoulders back down to the mat, even if that means that the bottom of your spine comes up. And then just concentrate on pulling the knees towards your shoulders. We'll all look different in this pose because of the flexibility we have in our hips. And then once you're comfortable, concentrate on trying to stretch your lower back down towards the mat. Good. So from a, release the feet and bring the feet back down to the mat. And from a forward bend, we'll go into a backward bend. So two choices here. You can either do bridge where you lift the hips up like we did at the start of practice, but this time lift them up a little higher. See if you can roll the shoulders in slightly so that you can grasp the hands together. If it's in your practice and you want to do a deeper back bend, then bring the hands up by the ears, bring the feet as close to the bottom as you can, push up onto the top of the head, and then push up into the wheel. Couple more breaths here. And then whichever pose you are in, Gently roll the spine back down to the mat. Taking the feet out long, take the arms up above your head. Scoot the shoulders over to the left and then walk the heels over to the left. Ensuring that both bum muscles are still on the ground, the hips are relatively even, Enjoy a nice stretch all the way down the right side of the body. If you want to go deeper, you can. You can either cross your legs over, you can pull on the right wrist, but ensure both your shoulders and both your bum muscles stay on the mat. Really send the breath into the right side of the ribs. Couple more breaths here. Then shuffle your shoulders back to neutral. Shuffle your feet back to neutral. Then shuffle your shoulders over towards the right. And then shuffle your feet over towards the right. Again, ensuring that both shoulders and both bum muscles stay in contact with the mat. If you want to pull on the left wrist on this side, you can. If you want to cross the left foot over the right to increase the stretch, you can. A really long stretch this time down the left side of the body. So really focus when you inhale and sending the breath into the left rib cage. Really opening up all those muscles in between each and every rib. Two more breaths here. And then wiggle your shoulders back to neutral and wiggle your feet back to neutral. 
This time, taking your arms straight out from your shoulders. Do whichever twist your body wants to do this evening, whatever is in your practice. Um, you can do it with straight, straight legs or a figure four twist, or if you want to shift the hips. If you don't want to shift the hips, you can just hug the knees in and twist over to the side. Or cross your legs and then twist to the side. We'll spend three minutes in this twist because we've done a lot of moving the spine this evening. And doing a long twist really um, neutralizes the spine. So get comfortable in your twist. Make sure you can stay here for the three, whole three minutes. Really enjoying relaxing on your mat in this twist. Sending the breath to any areas that might have any tension or tightness left in them. If you're gripping the muscles anywhere, grip that muscle tighter and then see if you can relax and release it. Sending the breath deep into your body. And then on every exhale, really relaxing and releasing. One more minute here, so really focus on releasing any tension left in the body. Really focus on taking the inhale deep into the belly. And with each exhale, relaxing and releasing everything into the mat. Inhaling deep into the belly. And exhale, relaxing and releasing everything onto the mat. So bringing the head to centre, take a nice big inhale and on the exhale pull the core in and roll your hips back onto the mat. Straighten yourself up, ready to go to the other side. Take whichever choice of twist you want, as we did before, either shift the hips, go with a fig four, maybe a straight leg, maybe cross legs, whatever you fancy, and then roll over to the other side. So really relax and release. If you're gripping the muscles anywhere, grip them a bit tighter, and then see if you can release them on the next exhale. Really allowing the shoulders to be heavy on the mat, allowing the hips to be heavy on the mat allowing the legs to be completely relaxed. Taking the breath deep into the body. And as you exhale, just relax a little bit deeper.
keep the breath moving. Just searching the body for any last tight spots. Inhaling, focusing on those tight spots. And then exhaling as you try and relax and release them. Inhaling into any of those tight spots. And then exhaling as you relax and release them. Just a few more breaths in this twist. Keep on focusing on the breath. Then inhale the head back to centre. Exhale, really pull the core in and roll the hips back down onto the mat. Straightening yourself up on the mat. Take the legs out long if that's comfortable for you, coming into final sabbatical. If you need to pop a jumper back on, then now is the time to pop a jumper back on. If you have any issues at all in the lower back, then bring the feet to your yoga mat and let the knees roll in, or take the soles of the feet together and let the knees roll out into butterfly legs. Make sure that your body is completely comfortable. Tuck the tailbone under, maybe tuck the shoulder blades underneath the body. Gently close the eyes if you haven't already. And take the awareness back to the breath. Just notice how your body is breathing. Notice the depth of the breath. The length of the breath. Whether the inhale and exhale are the same length or whether one is longer than the other. Notice how the body feels after its practice. And recall what you noticed from the start of practice when we did our mindful check-in with how we were feeling, where we had any tight spots or tensions or stresses. And just make a mental note as to whether that has changed. Enjoy the feeling of your whole body supported by the mat. Heavy and relaxed. Notice where the body touches the mat. Backs of the heels, calves, backs of the legs, glutes, parts of the spine, maybe the middle back, the upper back shoulder blades, backs of the hands, forearms, upper arms, backs of the head. And then notice where there is space for light and air between you and your mat. Maybe around the ankles, the knees, 
the lower back, wrists, armpits, neck. And yet everything feels supported and relaxed on the mat. Incredibly heavy, as though you could not even lift a finger if you wanted to. And then focus on that feeling of heaviness. Your body completely pressed by gravity into the mat. And take six long inhales and exhales, making the exhale two counts longer than the inhale. Then feel a feeling of levity through the body, as though if there were a tiny gust of wind, you'd float up into the air as light as a feather. Focusing on that feeling of levity, take three deep breaths, making the exhale two counts longer than the inhale. Gradually bring the awareness back to the body, maybe wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling the head from one side to the other side, maybe circling through the wrists or the ankles, and then move your body in whichever way it craves. If you want to stretch, then stretch. If you want to hug the knees in, hug the knees in. And if you feel like twisting, then twist and in the spirit of our spine in six directions today if you want to have a lateral stretch have a lateral stretch and then when you are ready roll over onto your side and come up to seated thank you for coming and practicing with me this evening hope that you're feeling a little bit more mobile. Um, I will come and take you off mute in a second, but just for anybody that normally comes to the Friday class, I'm going to have to cancel it this week because I'll be traveling back home, all things being well. Um, so I know that um, Ginny, you normally do that one, but there's obviously lots of recordings from past classes um, on the YouTube channel if you want to do one on Friday. Um, and then Saturday's um, workshop is still on 10 till 12 and um, I've got the meeting with Kerry remotely tomorrow on that so um, that is still planning to go ahead as normal. So thank you very much, thanks for listening.